What's good, Council of Comics? We're doing The Last of Us, episode four. Let's go. Black is the brightest day. Where are the heroes? So far, Last of Us, follows, all we got to say. Follows the, the game. For the first 10 minutes, it's the game. Mm-hmm. It's literally yeah. the game. Except in Kansas City. And I'm like, oh, we, got, we got to change the location for some yeah, reason. Because it's for, Also, because wasn't that, wasn't, wasn't that Stephen King's one complaint about the, the show, right? Was that it, it looked like it wasn't where it should be. The first, the first episode. Did he say that? Like, not, yeah, there's a yeah, guy oh, like, tweeting that. something out. But but like, when anyway, like like the state, he's like, that's not was, 10 miles They were probably looking for Boston. desolate places where they could film. <laughs> no, the, no, the first episode absolutely does not look like Boston. Sure that's it does. The thing. There's it was, landmarks in it. Yeah, but there's like a mountain in the background too and stuff. So it was like, you know, for Stephen, Stephen King, you can look it up. It's uh, a tweet. That he I was going to say, for a man who genuinely knows that area really well like he does, he is right. And I mean, it was something that did not take me out of it. Clearly it affected Stephen King. And some other uh, people, I guess. But anyway, having said that, Whatever, right? Like they needed to. Okay, instead of going to point A, we're going to go to point B because yeah. because of filming and stuff. They yeah. probably scouted ahead and said, "Hey, we can actually film in this." You and know? which and Kansas it looks City like is it? it? Or if we could film in Canada, but it looks like this city, so we're good, right? So look yeah. how many times they've screwed up Poughkeepsie in show after show, movie after Heroes. movie. Remember that Heroes anyway. was the worst. It's a bank of Poughkeepsie. That ain't close to Poughkeepsie, you people. Not the inside of the bank, not the outside well, of the bank, and not the streets or the or the police cars. The police cars just said Poughkeepsie on them. Like not the even the Hudson Valley twang from the people speaking in the bank. There was zero. If you, if you watch Sherlock, that was on CBS. There was Rutini and Rhinebeck, and it looks nothing like Rhinebeck at all. Like yeah. that's a city. No. Yeah. No. It makes no. Yeah. All anyway, right. the first part of the show, it was. Line for line, almost shot for shot. The the magazine. The the yeah, magazine I like how she's looking at at, at Bill's porn. That was magazine, so great. Yeah, that's straight out of the, the straight the, out the of game. straight I out of the game. Line for line. It was really cool. Yeah. Even yeah, when she cool throws it out the out the truck. Yeah. yeah. See now, you later, dude. Said that is the character of Kathleen. Kathleen is the right. She's she's new. She's okay. new. She's, she's, new. she's mentioned only by name in the game. Kathleen is more Tess than Tess. Yeah. Oh, Maybe they're gonna keep her. She's not. She's not believable at all, in my opinion. Mm, Wait, I why is she believable? Kathleen? Yeah, I believe. She her. just. I don't know. She she's looks a little like, over the top. She, she's over the top, and her look and her acting. It's just. It's not believable to me. It's just not. She should. I feel like she should be behind a pharmacy somewhere. It, it's. That's just, why it's she very, became my favorite new character. Really? Oh yeah. When they when she has. It's, it's because she has, it's if not I had a doctor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah it doesn't no, matter. no, she's totally she she the she just right over. Okay, <laughs> I do love. About, <laughs> I do love about this show. It, it, I mean, with some exceptions, it, is that the deaths and the it doesn't have to be overly gruesome. You, that death is off screen. You know, she shot him, but yeah, you don't need to. She, you don't need to see his head explode, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Joel and Ellie. Yeah. They end Are you up... fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Eh. All, right, all, right, all right, you got it. That's good. That's good. Um, so they're traveling, um, and they're seeing all these sites and everything. I thought the train thing was pretty cool. I was like, just a train in the background? Like, how the hell did that yeah. happen? Yeah. And, um, but they end up reaching a point where they can't go anymore. And so Joel has the idea, and he hates the idea from the jump, <clears throat> that he's going to go to the city. To yeah. get to where he has to go, mm-hmm. so they end up going to the city, and as soon as he goes in there, they get ambushed. The thing he regrets immediately. immediately. Yeah, gonna, someone faking that they're hurt. Are we gonna help him? No, no we're not. <laughs> I, I, I like, I love I'm it because yeah, Joe's, Joe's like, wait, I've been on both sides of this. Right. We are not moving. Absolutely. Like hell no. And so they're, you know, they're trying to avoid everything. They're being shot at by these groups. And bo- and the look on his face when he she when he sees her with a pistol. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you know it's great in the game that happens, but he she helps you because yeah. he basically goes, "Look, I'm going to go do this. If I get in trouble, 
you know, you need to shoot people. Mm-hmm. And then she, you know, in the show, she does it without being told. Yeah. So it's kind of a, a yeah. nice twist on it. But so I, I like how they did it in the show too, because um, because they had that moment, that yes. moment where she was, you know, you well, you thought she was traumatized, even though she's done it before, but um. They had that whole moment. I think she was talking about when she said she had hurt people too. I think she was more or less talking about two things. First of all, we don't know her past. Like maybe she kicked somebody down a well, mm-hmm. but you know, like had to get away from those fungus people that bit her. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then the other. Thing but this is, was like a dude begging. We don't know about that. But the other thing is, is she also did have to hurt somebody when she got the gun. She went down and she grabbed the knife and she stuck the knife in somebody's head. Yeah, but that like, was she was thing. Yeah. You know, because she was bit, right? Yeah. So she went down there. I was like. These Freaking things, and she was able to kill one, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So. But with this, the, with the important moment here is this is a dude that she shot, and then he's alive to beg for his life. Paralyzed. So she has to watch him beg for his life, uh-huh. and call Joel put him down, and he and call for his mom, Jesus Christ, what? and then she starts creating. Even crying. before that, why don't my legs work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was yeah. already paralyzed. Uh, yo, but, but so we see she's not. Comp- this was a whole new trauma for her because the tears uh, coming down her had face. Had him. Yeah, you didn't. Her, she I didn't her first killing. The okay, I, bu- he got, I he bought what the scene yeah. was supposed she, to be. Yeah, it's it's a little bit like darker because like Joel is getting. I don't think at that moment. The guy. No, I don't think so. She, she I think Joel. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I totally thing. forgot about that part. That's a crazy part. In in the game, like Joel was getting, he was being drowned by by one of those like soldier guys, and she she ends up like grabbing like a gun off the ground and like shooting him in the head to like. So it's a little bit like darker, so she gets like that first chill. And... Yeah, I think I think it's yeah, hundred percent. That is, that's a great scene, but I think it's equally as dark because, um, the guy she paralyzes the guy, and they see and mm-hmm. she sees him, yeah. begging for his life while paralyzed, and uh, he even he even gives Joel his knife and Joel kills him with. It. Yeah, yeah Joel, Joel right. kills him with his own knife, but he kills him that's, quiet. That, and, yeah, that's some Joel that's shit. And, and in both Joel versions, Joel Cold is not shit. able to like console her after doing yep. it. In, like both versions, he's kind of like a jerk. Uh-huh. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. So they end up going in the house. She, they, they ambush them in the side of the house. He makes her go against in a hole in the wall. He gets down. She comes out. She has the gun that she had before. She shoots the guy. Um, Joel finishes the job later, and then they're in the room, and Joel just has this moment where he's just like, "All right," and he shows her how to, mm-hmm. how to show, hold yeah, gun, right? properly. Or, or hold even before gun. that, we see that tank roll by too. Yeah, and we we notice that Ellie just does not listen because he told her to put it in the bag, and she puts it in her pocket, and she puts it in her pocket. I'm like, this girl it tells it tells you to shoot your ass off. Right? Yeah, yeah, shoot your ass off. Yeah. yeah, she just wants to not listen. Mm-hmm. Um. So they're stuck inside the city, and we come to find out that the Fedra uh, QZ was taken over for whatever reason. They don't really say why it was taken over, but the town people, whoever lived there, rose up. They rose up, and now they run it. And they actually think they're chasing another person. They don't know that they're chasing Joel or Ellie. They mm-hmm. think they're chasing, uh, was it Henry? Henry and Sam. Henry Sam and Sam. Sam. Well, they're chasing Henry, but they don't think they know Sam. Yes. Yeah. And uh, Joel... But Kathleen and, knows. And they know. Because they saw the pictures of the two of them yeah, like, stressed right. as Superman. Right yeah, so they go to these little different spots. And they see the pictures. Like, oh, they've been here. Blah, blah, blah. Like, me not having played the game. I'm yeah, like, but what the hell is going on? I haven't played the game either. But, <laughs> yeah. but, but Kathleen says, she goes, Henry won't let Sam starve. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, but, and she wants Henry because he apparently rout, ratted out her family. Right. Yeah. And that's why she shoots right the doctor. Brother. Shoots the yeah. doctor too. Yeah. Because you you turned on us. Mm-hmm. He's like, well, I, you know, I did what I had to do. And then yeah. I like I like that scene where she. <laughs> sorry, I just found it kind of funny too. It was like I have a, I had a gun to my head, and she was like, well, yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got one. proper motivation. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, one of the the generals I call him, of her crew, basically, goes to show her something else though. That guy's and, a voice from the game too. Right. And the uh, they show the the room. Where I guess that's new. Kind of Stranger Thing ish. Yeah. In my opinion. Oh, they've Where got the a ground, bloater in there. Yeah. yeah. The ground Which was like you moving. would think that would take some freaking precedence, but no. Let's go harass these people first before Monster Creature that's, comes yeah, out. She's hell bent on revenge. So they can save She's hell bent on revenge. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I know, but I mean, like. <laughs> well, they also you know. were like, it's like I don't know. It's it's a double because if she knows like what it is or what it's getting into, it's like okay, 
it's there. We know it's there. So nobody go into the building. Mm-hmm. Right. But I didn't like that. Yeah, no, but you would either. think yeah. at least make some form of perimeter so that people understand this freaking thing is coming. Right. Yeah. Right. Or, or exactly somehow figure out like, okay, we have to take down the building or whatever they do to kill the thing, mm-hmm. you know? Cause like yeah. you said, it's stranger thing. It's just like you walk into a room, yeah. the floor was moving. <laughs> was like, like okay, uh, well, that's not normal. Mm-hmm. Like what's um, under there. So they basically find a tall building that Joel and Ellie can escape to. They get there. They have to climb up all these steps. And they're like 33 floors. And I'm like, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I'm like, oh, you got to feel like that after 33 floors. Uh, are they winded? Walking? He's, he's, no, yeah. yeah, he is. He's old. He's they're, they're, yeah. yeah, I mean, like, he was yeah. talking about his knees in the earlier episode. 72 yeah. flights so. of stairs? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I know. Yeah. What was the last time I you know. walked up five flights? They I thought also, about it. I was they like, also, oh, maybe, maybe. He also just had gotten choked out. His hand is still busted from two yeah. episodes ago. They, they make a point. <laughs> and he's got yeah. gear on. You know yeah. what I mean? So. so they make it up to a room. And during this whole process, Ellie has a book. Those jokes are great. Like the book of oh, I love ah, the joke book. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's through, that whole, that last scarecrow episode. is the best. Yeah. The, the, whole episode, the whole episode. last one's yeah. the best. And then uh, she gives the at the one? end. She kind of says like, uh, uh, "What is uh, diarrhea is hereditary? Yeah, it, yeah, runs it, runs it runs in your genes. No, it runs in your genes. Runs in your genes." And Joe finally breaks a laugh and a smile. So they're they're really connected. Well, she got mad because he got the other one right with the. Uh, oh, he was out in the field. He was, he was, yeah, yeah, he was a standout. Standing, 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 I was standing in his field. field. <laughs> Pedro Pascal Bad is a great actor. I, I really like. How they're he's both doing a fucking yeah, great job. Great job. Um, then they go to sleep and they wake up. The gun's pointed at their head. Well, he wakes up because she's already up. Yeah, he wakes up. She's like Joel, Joel, and yeah. then comes to find out. And he like barely slept. Well, who well no, uh, right. Well, no, I think no. At the, no, it's the beginning of the episode where we sleep. Like he is like not sleep. He's correct. not been sleeping because he's yeah, worried about her correct. and doesn't want her to worry. Yeah. So at this point, he finally got what would have been well earned sleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he wakes yeah because up. in the car, he tells her you can sleep, and then of course the next sequence is her at, you know, yeah, 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 drooling yeah. on herself <laughs> in, the, in this passenger side. Um, so yeah, so, so they, she got sleep. They wait. Well, he wakes up. Come to find out, someone has a gun pointed at Ellie. A little kid has a point. Has a gun pointed at Joel. He has like a superhero logo. superhero mask painted superhero on his mask. face. He's painted on his face, which I saw the difference from the game. Yeah, we actually had a full superhero outfit. I guess they figured. Yes. Wait, what? He never had a superhero. No, outfit. no. And what is? It? I saw a still frame of him in like. No, no, outfit. no. That that's that's all new. Okay. The the superhero part. Am I wrong? Um. Yeah. I think that's like all new. The, the oh. shot I saw from the video game. It just like. Too yeah, he, he was he was also a little older in the game too. So he is a little bit older. yeah, Ellie was relating to him a little more, or or I'm I'm guessing he's gonna be she's gonna be relating to him a little less because he seems younger, and he seems in his own head with all this superhero stuff. But um, yeah, it's new. Well, right. think about this though, and I was thinking about this the other night after the episode. So she's supposed to be 14, right? Roughly okay. 15, maybe. So when the show starts. When Joel's daughter dies is twenty years ago, right? Which means that she was born after this started, right? Yeah. What is that hospital situation going to look like? Uh, it's more like or is oh, that here's a, this. Is that a home here's birth? here. It's a, it's very home birth, and I'm sure there's there's a lot of it's gross. That's what I'm saying. So like, <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure it's like midwife extreme feelings and how she's going to handle. She's grown up in this world. Mm-hmm. This is this is the world she lives in, so it shouldn't. Uh, well, shock that's her why point. I think the important part of the episode is, like that moment of like, "Well, I've had to kill before, and here we are." Versus like, "Oh wow, I may have had to kill before, but I never had someone beg for their life in front of me." Mm-hmm. I feel that the otherwise, what is the meaning for that scene? You know, if, for us, I yeah. don't think it's really. No, I I, I mean it's no, for us for storytelling, but it's for affected, her too. She's obviously affected by the fact that she had to murder somebody. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You know, she and she, yeah. All the other murdering, you're right. When Joel murders that dude right in the first episode, she is like excited. She feels protected. A mirror opposite to Joel's daughter, who sees him shoot their neighbor when she's like coming to attack them in episode one, and she's like, "Oh my god!" Like, yeah. my father's like, can kill people. Like, I know, mirrors. I that too. Well, it's also different. Yeah, the complete opposite. I mean, but I, now I don't know having not killed anyone. But it's also different watching someone kill a stranger who's attacking you as opposed to your next door neighbor who you've known for years and years and years. But even still, Ellie's whole reaction to it is a whole different world. But she specifically cries big tears 
because that guy was begging for his life. And you should kind of go it's to the, the other room so that Joel can finish it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that scene is there for a reason. Um, right. Whether it's well executed enough for you or not, I mean, sure, yeah, but it is there for a reason. I don't buy it. Right. And then that's pretty much how the episode ends with the guns pointed at them. Uh, quick scores, real quick. Green shirt guy. Seven. It's it's still very good. It's, I still think the first episode is the strongest, but it's it's yeah, it's good. Good. Eight. Anthony, I'll give it an eight, but kind of like what Ronaldo was saying, I think it was stronger than the first episode. And I did. I kind of like the characters of Kathleen and the and the kid with the. I really, <laughs> really, <laughs> I really did not like I Kathleen. Connected. Kathleen's a big part of my point reduction. Who? Oh. Uh, I'm gonna also give it an eight. Um, and overall, I like the episode a lot. I like how the, uh, the, the like the villains of this like level are a little bit more fleshed out with like Kathleen and stuff. And the other thing I noticed was there was a lot of things that were besides like you know killing the zombies and stuff. It's uh, there's a lot of uh, like you know getting L to like open a door for you so she goes through the one mm-hmm. entrance and that that was kind of in the game like this show a lot more than like others and it's like that's another part of the game is how do you get to point B. With both of you. And the sets look, ex- I mean, it looks like they shot it from the game. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. Joey. Nine. I, um, Ooh. besides, uh, you know, everybody, what everybody said, I really like, I really like their chemistry a lot. And I like, I liked how they, um, how they were connecting in that, in the episode. And I think they're doing a great job with that. And that's what really that's what really shined to me in this episode, that that connection being formed, and um, yeah, I you know usually you see that you see that kind of stuff in in other forms of media, you know, like two polar opposites they end up connecting, you know, you're just like oh okay cool this one it actually made, like it made me smile like I I really I really enjoyed it. So I thought uh, it was really nice. I'm changing yeah. mine to eight and a half because I really like that diarrhea joke. All right. That's, uh, yeah, that's right out of the game. It's all over the internet too, right? Like, that... I'll give it an eight. It was a decent episode. All right. So uh, positive numbers all around. Another good episode. What do you guys think? Please leave your comments below. If you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Hit that little thumbs up like button to help us out on the algorithm. And remember, we have all the other episodes on the playlist. It's The Last of Us. We do these reviews every week. We also have plenty of other shows and plenty of other reviews and lots of new comic book stuff that you can tune into. So go check those videos. So for myself, for the rest of the Council of Comics that you have before you, we love you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.